it's better to have people hate it and be angry than it is to have somebody go, eh, I don't get it. Wir zeigen ähm, das Werk von Edward und Nancy Kienholz äh, in einer großen Ausstellung, ähm, die an sich was sehr Besonderes ist. Ähm, man muss sich in Erinnerung rufen, dass Edward Kienholz Mitte der 50er Jahre angefangen hat, mit Material zu arbeiten, das in der Kunst eigentlich was ganz Fremdes ist, nämlich mit Alltagsgegenständen, die er zusammengesammelt hat aus Schrottplätzen, Müllhalden, also überall sonst, nur nicht im Farbengeschäft. Das ist was, was tatsächlich Ed Kienholz erfunden hat. Er war der Erste, der das im, im großen Stil betrieben hat und schon Mitte der 50er Jahre damit angefangen hat, Arbeiten dieser, dieser Art zu entwickeln. see anything but a bunch of junk just thrown together and and he calls that art mm -hmm. art to me is the old masters over here in the first building mm -hmm. that is art mm -hmm. but this kind of junk that's just thrown together and a bunch of gobby pink thrown on it to me it's horrible mm -hmm. i think the man's sick mm -hmm. Natürlich sind es amerikanische Künstler, ähm, keine Frage, Ed Kienholz ist nur im State Washington auf einem Bauernhof aufgewachsen, das ist sozusagen amerikanisches Homeland, Nancy Kienholz ist äh, aus Los Angeles, diese beiden Erfahrungen sind zusammengeflossen, aber äh, sie sind äh, ganz am Anfang ihrer Beziehung gleich 1972 nach Berlin gekommen. We had a very quick courtship, shall we say. And then we packed up all our children, and he had two, I had one, and we packed them all up and we moved to Berlin. So here you had this California family that moved off to Berlin, and uh, that's how we began. And then, so far as working on the art together, it was a natural evolution that happened over time. <laughs> Wir zeigen jetzt hier, ich sage das gerne, die Essenz des Kienholzschen Werkes. Das heißt, ähm, vertreten sind hier alle wichtigen Themen, die sehr existenzielle und sehr essentielle gesellschaftliche Themen waren. Das heißt, die Rolle der Frau, Sex, ähm, politische Machtstrukturen, Religion, also alle Dinge, die ähm, die Nachkriegsgesellschaft äh, umgetrieben hat. Ähm, aber alles Themen, die quasi heute noch genauso äh, virulent sind wie damals. War, religion, those are the two big ones. War and religion. Racism, I mean, you know, social problems within, within the, our societies. Politicians are of a different ilk. And somehow, I mean, I don't know how they are in Germany, but somehow they've forgotten that they're actually in there to represent the people. That that's gotten away. It's more about them than it is about us. I don't think they would recognize themselves any more than they would recognize themselves in the my country tis of thee. The general 
always here and, and the taxpayer is carrying him on her back. And the general actually has the button for the red phone. The president may think he has it, but in fact, the general's the one that's got it. And then the general has a stick in his hand, and that is like we always say a carrot, like a horse will follow a carrot. And so here it's religion that is keeping the taxpayer going. And then as we move forward, the third world is kind of excited and waiting for this to come, for this parade to come. It's an excitement for them that the first world is coming. It's about the people and it's about justice, who's broken. This is a work that has a timelessness. It's rooted in a moment, moments of reflection, and yet the manifestation has a has an enduring, endless quality. Powerful, um, sometimes disturbing, uh, unforgettable, really. I think that it holds up a mirror for us, uh, to ourselves, in a, uh, a, a very creative way, in a very humorous way, in a way uh, also. It's about entering into, not an exhibition, but it's about entering into a world. Das Faszinierende ist diese äh, Direktheit, mit der die Dinge rüberkommen, die, die plastische Kraft, fast Gewalt, die diese Werke ausstrahlen und natürlich auch diese äh, Kritik äh, an, an wichtigen Themen, die uns in unserer Konsumgesellschaft begleiten, täglich. Okay.